Pikachu, use Thunderbolt! Hello YouTube, this is Chris Maniac, a friendly neighborhood maniac, bringing you folks another Pokemon X Y and Y fight battle. And this battle is supposedly an OU match versus Matco, but as you can see, what sticks out in, in Matco's team other than that Persian is a Pikachu. And I'm like, what the Pikachu? Who would bring a Pikachu to an OU match? Matco, I guess. But Matco is a pretty skilled battler. I battled him before, and um, the for actually the we battled twice in this match. The first time he battled me, he just swords danced with his Weavile and then he swept my entire team because my whole team is weak to his Weavile, but um, Pikachu um, is like, what? Like, why would you bring a Pikachu? But in this battle, I'm out for blood. There's no mercy this time because the first battle, I was just fooling around because like um, his Weavile swept me first match and now I'm out for blood. Like, well, I, want, I really want to win. I want a revenge for the 6-0 he gave to me last game. That was like embarrassing. That was terrible. Anyways, he leads off with his Charizard, I'll lead, lead off with my Empoleon, and this is a great matchup for me, I can take any hit from this thing, I'm a special wall, um, even with a Solar Beam or a Flamethrower, I can take that neutrally, um, because uh, of my typing. He goes for a Solar Beam right here, but my Steel typing makes that neutral damage, and I don't really take that much from it, because I am a special wall, and lead, and lead me this, he, like in the movie 300, he is standing here all strong and mighty, and um, like a wall in the gates, so, in the hot gates. I'm ready to uh, block any of your special, special type moves. Anyways, he withdraws because he doesn't want to get his charge or put to sleep. And in comes the next Pokemon, which is Zapdos. And I think I can go for the Yawn again. Yeah, I predict his I predict his switch out. And if he stays in whatever, I can take in another move. And I get uh, more left over recovery, whatever. If he tries to Thunderbolt me right now, he won't knock me out. But I don't want any more damage dealt to my Empoleon because my Empoleon is important for his Charizard. So he wants Black Fire again. And because of the. Um, of the bird, what's it called on Zapdos that came in last um, turn? I switch out right there. I bring in Terrazar and I take away the sun and I set up the sandstorm. So it looks like it looks pretty good for me right here. And it looks like I'm gonna absolutely annihilate um, Matco after I take out his Weavile, his Charizard, and his Zapdos. Because after that, he only has his Persian, Mandibuzz, and um, Pikachu. And Pikachu, obviously, is not gonna be a big threat, am I right? Maybe? <laughs> Anyways, I pursued his Charizard, thinking that he's gonna, he's gonna switch out, he fearing my Stone Edge, but he actually stays in. He gets off a Focus Blast and does heavy damage to my um, Tyranitar. If I didn't have a Sandstorm up, I would I would have been KO'd right there. But, um, one hit KO'd by that Charizard's hard hitting move. But it's a good thing I have a uh, um, Sandstorm up because I I would have not have survived that. And I hit the Charizard with a Stone Edge, just finishing it off, and down goes his Mega Charizard Y. So that's one big threat out of the way, that is great. Although, I could just come in with my Aerodactyl and speed and Stone Edge it. That's not much of a threat actually. In comes Grifeldis, and I know that this mana must can't really do much to me, but I switch out for some reason and I bring in True for a chill. This is a great opportunity for me to like toxic this thing, because I know this thing is really bulky. I don't want to stay in and like, um, get stalled out of Stone Edges or something, because that thing could be known for stalling out Stone Edges, even though it hits my turret, it hits super effectively in that thing. Anyways, in comes Snibuna, his big threat of a Weavile, and this Weavile swept me last match, and this is what is really scary. This is really scary for me, because I, need, I really need to destroy this Weavile before it gets to plus 2 on with Swords Dance, because it can hit my entire team super effectively, outspeed my entire team, and I think I'll speed it, because my Mega Aerodactyl is not Mega Evolved yet. So, I need to break this down as much as possible, and with Toxic and my Energy Ball racking up on him, the damage, I um I could just sack off one Pokemon I guess to this uh, Weavile, um and I bring in Terrazar, my Tyranitar just to set up the Sandstorm, even more chip damage for this Weavile, taking away his health little by little. He ice punches my Tyranitar, Tyranitar goes down. That is um expected because this is a real threat Weavile, even in OU, and um, it was even in OU for a short time, but it got moved back down to UU, and that just shows you how strong it is. And I used to bring Leonidas, and I'm asking him, I'm begging him to go for the low kick right here, because I could bring in my Needle King 
and I can just resist that and survive, and he'll get taken out by Toxic. So he does go for low kick, as expected, and that is great for me because now I have a healthy Empoleon and a healthy, a healthy Needle King, and Needle King is a big threat to um, his entire team, basically. Matko is um, finished at this point. Well, it looks like it, but there's still half the game left, as you can see in the video um, time. Anyways, I ice beam his Grafeldus, his Manibus, and Manibuses are insanely bulky. That probably doesn't even have any special defense investment, but it still takes that like a champ. And he got a knockoff on me, weakening my um, life orb um, uh, boosted attacks, and that kind of sucks. In comes Zapdos. I'm just gonna keep spamming um, Ice Beam at this point because Ice Beam hits his whole team super effectively. Uh, I don't want to go for the Thunderbolt, fearing his Pikachu might come in and get the um, Bolt. What's it called again? I forgot. That Lightning Rod boost. Yes. So Ice Beam does a hefty chunk, chunk of damage to that Zapdos, but I miss out on the 2KO because of the knockoff from Life Orb earlier. Uh, but I'll just keep spamming Ice Beam, whatever. I don't lose anything from doing that, and it really damages his Zapdos. He goes for light screen right here, uh, Matko, and he could just uh, maybe roost up if he survives the next ice beam with on the light screen behind with leftovers and stuff, maybe. And uh, maybe he's banking on that. But right here is a shot right here because I don't want I was feeling iffy if I could knock him out with another ice beam. So I bring back steer right here. I know he's gonna roost up, and I can just knock him out next turn with a uh, um, stone edge. So um, he roosts up as usual, as expected. He wasn't gonna go for the hidden power ice or something on me if he has it. So um, that is great, I get a free switch into my um, Aerodactyl and I can knock him out next turn, Mega Evolve, and destroy him with uh, um, Stone Edge, if I hit, anyways. So I Mega Evolve my Mega Aerodactyl, this underrated Mega Pokemon, really needs to be used more because it's so good. It outspeeds uh, everything and it hits a lot of stuff super effectively, especially Gliscor, especially Skarmory. And I bring down a Zapdos in one shot with a Stone Edge, in comes Snobbly Cat. His Persian, he fakes out me, doesn't really do much damage because I'm a rock type, and I can just retaliate back next turn with a very hard hitting move in the form of uh, Stone Edge. So down goes his cat. That's freaking overkill right there. I feel sorry for that Persian. I love cats, but that cat gets absolutely wrecked this match by my my by my Megarodactyl. Angus Griffel this, and I'm like, okay, just keep spamming Stone Edge or Ice Fang. So I bite that thing. And it takes it out too. So. Now, at this point, Matko is left with only his Pikachu. So I'm like, Pikachu, okay, this should be a breeze. Um, I could outspeed it and just annihilate it and with, um, this, and win the match, basically. But that is not meant to happen because I missed the Stone Edge. He both tackles my Megaridactyl and it takes it down on one shot. So I'm like, wow, okay, whatever. I can just bring another Pokemon to uh, deal with you. So I bring a Slangerino. I can take any hit from this thing, anyone hit, and retaliate back with a Psy Shock. So I go for a Volt Tackle, he goes for a Volt Tackle right here, he gets a Paralysis, and I'm actually paralyzed next turn. So this Pikachu is really haxing me out, and it took out, it's got to take out two of my Pokemon at this point. So he goes for the Extreme Speed, takes out my Reading Quest, and I'm like, what? This is really happening right now, is this Pikachu really taking out two of my Pokemon? And Matko could break through my Krilly, then he could possibly suit me with his Pikachu. But that's not the case, Hidden Power is not going to do much, even Hidden Power Ice. And I can just retaliate back with an energy ball, and I energy ball for the win, and True for a chill gets me the match, and I win with like a 3-0. But I thought I was gonna have much of a more bigger um, win like uh, ratio right there. I thought I was gonna have a 5-0 him or even 6-0 him, but um, surprisingly, his Pikachu brought it down to 3-0, which is pretty funny. But that was a one-sided match, but I just wanted to show you folks how strong Pikachu is in Lightfall. Use one in NU, I bet it did like, wreck a whole bunch of stuff. Anyways folks, I hope you enjoyed this battle, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you folks next time!